Match day 23 of La Liga Santander kicks off at the Nuevo Los Carmenes. Granada come into the game after a hard defeat at the hands of Eibar, but have still only lost once in their last five home games. Real Betis need to improve their finishing. They've only scored once in four matches. Victor Sanchez de Lamo's side to do that will be Alex Alegria, who got a brace in the first meeting this season. They play it well, that's a good effort, and that's a mistake for goalkeeper Herrerin and Sporting are ahead. Three points from their game against Leganes gave hope to Sporting with what was their first win since match day 14. Carlos Carmona misses the game through suspension as Sporting look to avenge a 5 0 defeat from last year. I think that on Saturday against Atletico, we're going to make things tough for them. What we want most is to get away from the relegation zone and give some joy to our fans. Correa. Oh, what a goal! What a brilliantly worked goal! Diego Simeone's side come to El Molinon off a victory against Celta Vigo. Fernando Torres scored one of the goals of the season in that one and has three goals in his last two games. With no time to lick their wounds after defeat at San Mamés, Deportivo need to win this weekend in order to move away from the drop zone, that they are just three points above. The Galicians have gone five games without a win, their worst run of the present campaign. Alaves approached the game off the back of their heaviest defeat of the year, 6-0 at the hands of Barca. After rotations, Mauricio Pellegrino is expected to bring back Ibai Gomez, Davison, Victor Camarasa and Kiko Femenia. So flag is down and the ball is slotted home. Carlos Vela makes it 1-0 to Real Sociedad. 25 minutes in. Real Sociedad are enjoying a spectacular season and already have one more victory at this stage of the campaign than when they finished runners-up in 2002-2003. Eusebio Sacristan's side now face a tough challenge in the form of Villarreal, as they have won just twice in 13 visits from this week's opponents to Anoeta. It's going to be a very hard game. We've already faced one another three times if we take the cup into account. We know what to expect. We're playing in front of our fans. We want to continue where we are, and we obviously have to win this game. It will be a direct battle for the European places. Villarreal trail La Real by five points. Sansone, who scored a brace in the first La Liga meeting, will try to get back on the score sheet. can do something with this, Munir. Adan should have done better, that's blocked. Big appeals for a penalty. Valencia ended a run of consecutive defeats with their draw against Real Betis, but a point wasn't enough to take them away from the brink of the relegation zone. They've also gone two games without scoring for the first time since March of 2016. Che will be without the injured Santi Mina, as they play an athletic club side who fought back against Deportivo last weekend. Away trips remain the Achilles heel for the Basques. They have just two points from a possible 21 on their travels. Aduriz, 2-1 to Athletic, the birthday boy! Football returns to Balaidos after a month without La Liga action. Celta need a win to get back into the battle for Europe, as they are currently six points adrift. Oh, Watts cuts it back, Guidetti! No mistake this time! 
Without the suspended John Guidetti, the Galicians take on an Osasuna, winless since match day eight. The visitors have only won once in Vigo on their 19 trips there in La Liga. Rosaleda provides an opportunity for both sides to change their form. Malaga will target a first victory since match day 13. Rodriguez is involved there and here Rosales puts a decent ball in and that is the opening goal of the game. And to do that, they will have Charles aiming for further goals. After his strike against Villarreal and previous record against Las Palmas. Visiting coach Kike Setien will try to rectify his side's travel sickness. They've only taken the three points once away from home this season. We have to turn around our away form. We have to clear our heads. We know we're having great games both home and away, and we need to win away now. I think we've got a competitive side with experienced quality players, enough to do good things away from home. 